In this lesson, we're going to take a little look at grooves and how Ableton can work with grooves and we can use grooves in our clips within our project. Groove is basically, if we have everything quantized on 16ths, it will soon start to sound very mechanical. Groove is that slight timing difference where it's not out of time, but it's loose. Like if, if a real drummer was playing, he wouldn't be playing exactly on 16ths. Sometimes when we're taking samples, they will have a groove in them. And using Ableton, we can extract that groove and apply that groove as a quantizer to other clips. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So we're going to use our drum loop that we brought in earlier from the sub bass sample pack. If I double click it, I can see it in the edit window. I'm going to shorten it down to two bars. Simply in the sample edit parameters, I'm going to change the loop length to two. And that gives me a two bar loop that I'm going to extract my groove from. So the first thing to do when you're extracting groove is to always make sure that the kick is on the downbeat. So I'm going to do, do that by zooming in on the one and you can see there it's slightly off. So I'm going to move it and make sure that it is on the downbeat. Now you'll see there that although I'm starting from there my sample is still set at one. So using control on the keyboard and clicking on that point, I can set that as my one point one point one. So that's now the origin of the sample and that's where the groove is gonna come from. You'll see that it's knocked my loop out slightly. So what I'm gonna do is just adjust that. So there, that's, that's now all set. My loop length is now also slightly out. So I'm gonna change that to two. So. I'm just tightening up my loop before I extract my groove from it. A lot of the time with loops that you've taken from sample packs, they will have a gap between the start of the sample and where the waveform actually starts. So you've usually got to trim that out before you extract the groove from it, otherwise it will affect how the groove plays when it's applied to other clips. So once we have our loop trimmed up and nice and tight, we can now extract the groove from it. To do that, we click on the clip, we go to the edit menu, and we see we have an extract groove command. If we click on that, that's now extracting the groove from that drum loop. Now, to apply it to another clip, I'm gonna apply it to one of my percussion clips. I'm gonna use this one. If I play it with the drum loop, So the drum loop is slightly swung, but the percussion isn't. The percussion has its, its own swing. So what I'm gonna do is apply the groove that I took from that loop to the percussion swing. So to do that, I double click the clip that I wanna apply the groove to. And in the clip parameters box, which is down here, we have a groove command. Now when I click on where it says none, any grooves that we've extracted will appear in this list. There it is, so I open up the, the drum loop, I click commit, and you'll see the software has now applied warp markers to this and moved them all slightly to go with the swing of our drum loop. So if I play the loop, now groove, can also be applied to MIDI clips. So on one of my MIDI clips that I produced earlier, here is my 4-4 beat. I'm gonna do the same thing, apply the groove from that, from the drum loop to that, click commit, and you'll see it's moved some of my kicks out ever so slightly to go with the swing of that. So if I now play that along with my drum loop, So they're now all following the same groove. So if you've got lots of drum loops and they're not really sitting together very well, find the one that has the swing, trim it to a loop, extract the groove from it and then apply it to the rest of your loops and that will probably help and everything will fit together and all will have the same groove.